All right, guys, so now we're going to look at the rotate over time. And this is a pretty cool effect that you will want to look at. So what I'm going to do to show you is I'm going to create a triangle first. So go up here to your polygon tool and then draw out a polygon like this. And I have it set to 19 as a stroke and no fill. So click on this and make sure that this no fill is selected. Good. Then I'm going to go over here to my contents, open up the Polystar 1, and then under the Polystar path, I'm going to select three points so that it is a triangle like this. And then I'm going to go over here to my effects and presets, and I'm going to select my rotate over time. Drop it onto my shape layer. And then notice that an effect has been created. So I have this rotate over time and and I have this rotation here which is like the degrees per second so my speed and then I have my transform down here as well now if I drag this down right about here and I play this back notice that it's going pretty slow but it's simply rotating around my anchor point so if I want to move my anchor point in a little bit like this closer to my original shape position and then say I want it to make this go faster I would just bump this up so we'll do something like that and then if I play it back now I will have something like that that's pretty fast though I'm gonna actually bump this down let's try this maybe a little bit slower a little bit more okay nice so that's how the rotate over time works and this is pretty cool say you wanted to add like another shape so I'm gonna close this up select off of it and then I'm gonna select a square rectangle like this and then I will add a rotate over time as well on this guy just bump up the speed a little bit and I will put my anchor point in the middle like this. And then if I go to the beginning and play it back now, I have something like this. So, I mean, this is just a little small example of what you can do. Uh, you could also say duplicate this first triangle shape a few times and maybe add some more and go to the beginning and offset it if you want it to like that. Let's see what happens now. So yeah, you can do a lot of cool stuff with this rotate over time. So I hope that you will give it a try and we will see you in the next tutorial. Until next time.